Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anton Markowski. I'm a PhD student at the Institute of Physics Kazimierz Wielki University in Poland. And today I would like to talk about structural and photoconversion properties of terbium aluminium garnet single crystalline films for white light application. I'm going to divide my presentation into three main parts. First, in the introduction part, I would like to talk about principle of white light creation. And after that, I will discuss on structural photoluminescence and photoconversion properties of TBAG single crystalline films. And finally, I will summarize our research. In the introduction, I will begin with a brief report review on principle of white light creation. The most commonly used white light is a combination of a blue light and yellow phosphor converter packed with organic resins. And the function of the phosphor converter is to absorb the blue light and convert it to yellow light due to the cerium 3 plus luminescence. The combination of transmitted blue light and the yellow luminescence makes white light. This approach is called volume casting converter design and has some disadvantages. Poor heat resistance of epoxy resin and silicon leads to the change of emission color and lifetime reduction. So, in order to solve this problem, the planner chip level conversion approach is used, where the phosphor is separated from the lead chip. In this work, we propose to use a single crystalline films as a phosphor converter, due to the solid structure with a certain mechanical strength, with homogeneity, optical transparency, and high thermal conductivity. The conventional photoconverter is a cerium 3 plus doped yttrium aluminium garnet. The substitution of yttrium for larger terbium ions in this host leads to the redshift of the cerium emission due to the reduced local symmetry and increased crystal field strength in the dodecahedral position of the garnet lattice where cerium 3 plus ions localized. This approach can lower temperature and improve color index of white lead. According to the aluminium oxide terbium oxide phase diagram, the terbium aluminium garnet melts incongruently. Thus, terbium aluminium garnet matrix cannot be simply obtained in the form of a single crystal from the melt. Meanwhile, the terbium aluminium garnet matrix can be fabricated in the pure garnet phase using low temperature synthesis methods such as liquid phase epitaxia. The terbium aluminium garnet doped with cerium single crystalline films were grown by the li liquid phase epitaxia method from the overcold melt solution using lead oxide and barium oxide flux on the undoped YAG substrates. The S grown single crystalline films without additional polishing demonstrates good transparency with the lines under them clearly visible. Additionally, the single crystalline films can be cut on the plates with a suitable size. Let's move on to results and discussion and start from structural properties. The XRD measurements confirmed the crystallization of pure terbium aluminum garnet phase on the YAG substrate. The lattice constant for Tebe AG single crystalline film and substrate, YAG substrate, are uh, 12.076 and 12.011 angstroms. Therefore, the misfit value was estimated to be plus 0.53%. A large difference in the size of the lattice leads to the formation of the transition layer during the single crystal film growth. Such a large difference between the lattice constant film and substrate causes also a huge mechanical stress on the film substrate border and can strongly influence on the luminescence properties of the main volume of film. The precision scanning transmission electron microscopy measurements of specially prepared cross-section of the epitaxial structure were performed at IMT Erlangen, Germany, and the formation of the transition layer with a thickness of about 5 to 7 nanometers between the uh, single crystalline film and yttrium aluminum garnet substrate is observed. 
The content analysis revealed that transition layer consists of a mixture of solid solution between terbium and yttrium garnets and gradually changing to pure terbium garnet towards the film. The lattice constant misfit is gradually eliminated in this transition layer, and after the equalizing of the crystalline surface, the stable growth of target terbium garnet single crystalline film is observed. The absorption spectra contains a set of bands belonging to the transition of cerium 3 plus and terbium 3 plus ions. The cathode luminescence spectra of our samples show the dominant cerium 3 plus luminescence band without any notable sign of cerium 3 plus luminescence in other phases or luminescence of the defect related centers. The emission spectra shows that the dominant emission band peaked at 570 nanometers, which is related to the allowed 5D1 for F transition of cerium 3 plus in the garnet, uh, terbium aluminium garnet host. The excitation spectrum of cerium 3 plus luminescence recorded at 570 nanometers consists of cerium 3 plus and terbium 3 plus related bands and correlates with the absorption spectra. The presence of the terbium 3 plus related bands in the excitation spectrum of cerium 3 plus luminescence indicates the efficient terbium 3 plus, cerium 3 plus energy transfer. It is worth noting here also that there is excellent overlapping of E1 cerium 3 plus excitation band with 464 nanometers commercial blue LED. To evaluate the potential for white LED application, the terbium aluminium garnet single crystalline films were placed on the blue LED chip and generated emission spectrum of such a white LED was converted and plotted to the chromaticity diagram. The values of color coordinates show a linear dependence on the terbium aluminium garnet film thickness. The change in the film thickness enables tuning of the white light tones from cold white daylight for the 64 micrometer thick sample to neutral white for the samples with thickness in 70 to 108 micrometers range. And the table summarizes the color coordinates, correlated color temperature, color rendering index, and luminous efficiency. And the highest luminous efficiency values is 132.6 lumens per watt was obtained for the 108 micrometer thick sample. The conclusions as follows. Thank you for your attention.